What's up guys in Oxygen OS 10.0 based on Android 10 is now official and you can install it right now on your OnePlus 7 and 7 Pro and this is the final edition so that's what you'll be getting with the 6 and 60 as well. Okay so let's start with the boot animation and there we have the brand new Android logo which Google says is more modern looks same to me. Yeah never mind the boot animation speed is now a bit quicker than before. I would say 10% and that matters. The lock screen has new animation which looks quite slow. I don't know why OnePlus implemented this animation but it feels slow, really slow. Now you won't see any major change straight away cause we have the same home screen, same icons, same notification panel and quick settings. However there is a significant improvement in the application animation and speed and settings there is much more in settings okay yeah the fingerprint sensor speed is also improved a lot actually let's now enable some major changes in the settings the customization section is now more open and is showcasing more details we have new theme names with almost same functionality now it asks for permission cause if you have done any changes manually like change any accent or change any icons that would be overridden so just a small prompt or warning. Top and bottom theme also changes the quick settings icon to round rectangle so this thing you should note. So next we have the lock screen customization it's pretty much same as before however it's now more clear you're getting the animations and how it's gonna look like without applying that particular custom effect. And then comes the Android 10 Spatials accent color which was there in Oxygen OS already but now we have advanced settings for that. You can also select the tone which is not ring tone. You can say it's an additional accent customization. The colorful one looks more like pixel basic theme. And next there are shapes. We also have icon pack. Three of them are official. The round one looks really nice. And if you want something more you can install third party applications for icons right there. Okay so that's impressive. Alright next we have new gestures which I feel is very similar to the iPhone XS Max the iPhone 10 gestures and that's actually a great thing cause I do like iPhone gestures and you can use side swipe for back, navigation swipe for changing between applications, swipe up and pause for recent, full swipe up for home screen. So you have to learn this thing and you can actually learn it from the settings. And the third one is all bottom navigation gestures. So everything works. Swipe from bottom. Either you have to go to back or choose the home screen or go to recent. Next main settings is permission manager under privacy. Basically you can control every single application using your device permission. The exciting part is OnePlus has finally added digital well-being and parental control which shows you how much time you have spent in applications and games, how much time you unlocked your smartphone and the notifications you have received. The wind down mode is black and white mode, can be used at night, great for eyes. And yeah finally Android 10 easter egg looks great on the OnePlus 7. We also have the latest security patches, the 5th September one and the build number is Oxygen OS 10.0 GM57AA. And that was great to see OnePlus rolling out this update really quick as snap I mean I was not expecting this really quick but it's here. Again we have major enhancement in the animation speed, the opening animations and closing animations feels super snappy, applications are same as before. We have same camera, same application, same user interface. It's not having any super stabilization or something. And that's exclusive for the OnePlus 7 Pro. If you have the OnePlus 7 Pro, you'll get the amazing super stabilization. Moreover, you can record videos from telephoto lens as well as the wide angle shooters. So that's impressive for the 7 Pro users. And there's new application called Game Space, which brings your game into a single application and applies some sort of boosters enable the gaming mode and all and yeah finally we have new sound options the sound menu has better options than before it's great 
it's handy as well. So that's all guys the official review for the Oxygen OS 10.0 on OnePlus 7 and everything is just great. There are no lags or bugs I haven't faced till now. Thanks for watching your thoughts in the comment section if you have any questions just comment down right now. Like subscribe and turn on the notification. Peace out.